Hello, Namaste dear friends. In the series of this module 4, we are studying the families belonging to angiospermic plants. Here we are studying another interesting family, Lamiaceae. This is the most common plant of the family Lamiaceae that we observe always. This is Ossimum that we call it Tulsi. What is the distribution of this family Lamiaceae? It is commonly called as main family and the family includes about 260 genera and about 3,200 species worldwide of course and in India it is represented by about 400 different species. You can see here the systematic position of this family. It belonging to the kingdom planty of course. Division angiospermy as it, will, it produces the flowers having the ori and within that ori are ovules. So ovules are enclosed within the ori. Class Dicotyledony, taproot system, then reticulate venation, pentamerous flowers and so. Then subclass is Gamopetali. Yeah, here now we are studying the member of Gamopetali. Up till now we have studied some of the members of Polypetali. Then series bicarpellati, why it is called so. Then order Lamiales and then family Lamiaceae. If we talk about the vegetative characters of this particular uh, members of the plant, you will see that it also shows variety. The plants are mostly aromatic herbs or sometimes shrubs. For example, Leonotis. Then tree habit is found in Brazilian genus Iptis and climbing habit is seen in American species Sc Scutellaria. Then if we talk about the root of course the tap root system is there but highly branched rarely advantageous for example in case of mentha uh, pudina what we call it, uh, sometime uh, advantageous roots are also seen when the mentha spreads all along the ground uh, from the stem the roots are being produced then if we talk about the stem it is also very typical characters, uh, characteristic feature of this family lamiaceae aerial herbaceous rarely woody erect or sometime prostrate as in case of mentha it is uh, growing along the ground then quadrangular yeah okay it is typically squarish or quadrangular it's not a circular one then hairy yeah typical hairs are seen on the stem the stem or stem is branch it is solid or sometimes hollow sometimes underground suckers like in case of mentha yeah it is growing along the ground and it is like sucker and helping in the vegetative propagation leaves they are also very typical opposite decussate opposite and decussate uh, what does it mean uh, one pair of the leaf present at one node and uh, the second most is present at the second node but the orientation is just right angle to each other that we call as a decussate then rarely whorled in some of the members two or three leaves are present at the node then simple they are pitulate sometimes a style extipulate yeah it's a character they don't have any stipule hairy with aromatic smell the leaves are entire sometimes pinatified in case of perovescia then unicostate and of course reticulate venation as belonging to the uh, dicotyledony but unicostate the lateral veins are not so prominent as, as case of in the center between then here you can see the floral characteristics uh, the most important part of this family is that very common vertical type of inflorescence is present it consisting of a pair of condensed diacasial sign at each node har ek node pe ek tarah ka sign aap dekh sakte this is one example uh, we are showing it and and often uh, the vertical are grouped together in a thyrasis form rarely solitary for example in case of scutellaria you can see it's a complete inflorescence here at each node there are present the same type of inflorescence i'm sorry cymose type of dicasyl cymose type of inflorescence dicasyl cymose each time uh, the tip is divided to here the flowers you can see uh, you have to understand that then let me go in further details of the flower here this is the photograph of the flower of Osimum. Here it is one side weave of that and uh, if you see the flower they are said to be pedicillate sometimes the sile. They are having bract so therefore bracteate they are complete because all the floral walls are present in them. Then 
if you if you if you say they are um, uh, symmetry they are zygomorphic rarely actinomorphic for a in case of in case of mentha rarely they are bisexual hermaphrodite androsium as well as gynosium present in them they are rarely unisexual like in case of thymus uh, then pentamerous and hypogynous so ori superior and you can see here some of the characteristic picture of this particular flower here it's a typically being mentioned we'll go further talking about the further characters then if we talk about calyx in this particular uh, family the flowers are very smaller and therefore need to be observed under uh, lenses or dissecting microscope here you can see the sepals are five gamosepalous they are bilabiate in case of salvia then uh, they are persistent uh, valvate or imbricate in estivation when bilabiate calyx is present the arrangement is very typical sepals may be this one by four arrangement as in case of osimum or two by three as in case of uh, this particular plant calamintha then corolla is also typical the corolla possess a tubular base which widens toward the mouth then petals generally have five the gamopetals yeah all the petals are free this is most important character and the five five, five uh, teeth they are sub equal and mostly bilabiate the bilabiate corolla is most important uh, family character uh, of this particular family in mentha a four lobe corolla arises due to the fusion of two upper teeth when a distinct bilabiate condition is found the arrangement of the petals may be gamopetals that is 2 by 3 that is two petals in the in the posterior upper lip and the three in the anterior lower lip okay that's why it is called as bilabiate okay to upar ke baju mein teen ek dusre se fuse ho jayenge aur niche se do fuse ho jayenge that's a very typical bilabiate type of two lip type of uh, corolla is seen in case of osim osimum this is a very common plant we call tulsi the petal arrangement is gamopetal is mean a 4 by 1 arrangement four petals in the posterior upper lip yahan par char petals hai और नीचे के बाजू में ऑफकोर्स एक रह गया ओनली वन पेटल इन द एंटीर इन एक्सट्रीम केसेस द अरेंजमेंट में भी गैमो पेटल मतलब पूरे के पूरे एक दूसरे से फ्यूज जाएंगे ऑल द फाइव पेटल्स फॉर्मिंग द लोअर लीप सो दैट द करोला बिकम्स वन लीप एस्टिवेशन इन द पेटल इज वैल्युएट और इम्बरिकेट सो वेरी टिपिकल टाइप ऑफ फैमिली वेर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्पीसीज ऑफ द प्लांट शोज लिटिल वेरिएशन इन बट बायलाइबेट करोला इज मोर कॉमन इन दैन देन if we talk about essential was like androsium and gynosium what we observe that androsium regarding androsium i will take it on the light and say it's a typically only uh four stamens diadermous condition mane 2 plus 2 posterior stamen is reduced or represented by staminode in calamintha only two perfect stamens are found two are imperfect and the fifth reduced in salvia only two stamens on the anterior side is found they are characteristic characterized by peculiarly long connectives uh, which help in the insect pollination stamen generally introse and dithicus all these characters in morphology we have studied uh, details friends and therefore uh, when i am using the word introse we have to understand dithicus to lob introse having opening inside okay gynosium is also very typical you can see here uh, you we have to observe the diagram when i'm uh, explaining you the characteristic feature this is the uh, transverse section of the ovary you can see these are the ovules so bicarpellary syncarpus with the superior ovary situated on hypogynous honey secreting disc yeah honey now is a nectar secreting disc as a bilocular it becomes tetralocular by the formation of false septum yeah it is a bilocular but it becomes tetralocular by false septum this is important characteristic feature that what we have to understand friends okay then exile placentation one ovule in each locules style is gynobasic yeah this is most important character friend gynobasic arising from the base of the ovary means that style this particular style is arising from the base not from the tip okay therefore called gynobasic style stigma is bilobed you can see here a clear cut the two lobes are there can you see yeah and the gynosium is character thus uniform without any variation this gynosium is therefore becomes one of the most important identifying character in the family lamiaceae yeah 
respective of all other variations that you see in case of androsium in different types of plants of this particular family uh, regarding anosium it is definite that this particular family is having then the fruits they are usually sizocarpi car carcerulus uh, car or akenes or nutlates so akenes you know that they are very simple uh, type of fruits and they are dry fruits uh, then rarely drupaceous seeds are non endospermic yeah that's the most important part of that we have to understand non endospermic okay the endosperm is not present at the maturity of the seed and you know that osmium seeds are used in different preparations food preparation then this is the floral formula uh, can you observe bracteate then zygomorphy bisexual then calyx 3 plus 2 or sometime 5 if 3 plus 2 arrangement is there three posterior petals fused to form a upper lip and two fused to form lower lip but sometime there be five and all three or sometime may be fused corolla 2 plus 3 or 4 plus 1 or this arrangement 0 plus 5 androsium diadanamous condition 2 plus 2 then gynosium bicarpellus and carps with the ori superior then uh, if we talk about this floral formula can you see here it's a bracteate then all the sepals are there you can also see that sepal this is a big sepal but these two are interior uh, margins of the petals and uh, these are the two inner sepals and these are the two sepals so you can see arrangement very typical arrangement is there in this floral formula that's why we have to see the floral formula then here uh, corolla then 2 plus 2 androsium the fifth one is vestigial the gynosium bicarpellus and carpus ori so this is the floral diagram you have to understand then these are the important plants how economically important family is the tubers of stachyus Uh, seaboard they are edible leaves of mentha viridis osimum bacillum uh, they are used as a condiments or sometimes medicinal plant a medicinal importance of this family uh, you can see here many plants of this family like ajuba ajuga bracteosa lucas then mentha piperata uh, the leaves of osimum uh, like that these are used in various preparations of medicinal plants then several species of salvia coleus ajuga uh, they are uh, lavandula okay they are ornamental plants and some of them uh, religious perfume uh, rosemary oil uh, then lavender oil is extracted from lavandula like that then dye yeah there are certain plant plants like uh, fruits of lycopus uh, yield red dye then primitive characters these are the primitive characters that some members are perennial shrubs leaves are simple flowers are hermaphrodite hypogynous colored and scented pollination by insect these are primitive character but the advanced character this family shows is that the plant mostly herbaceous leaves are extipulate opposite or whorled then uh, flowers in distinct in floration that we called verticillaster in floration what is called verticillaster in floration so verticillaster Variety is lesser. Okay, then the flowers are zygomorphic. This is advanced character, and uh, in some they are unisexual, like in case of Ebosa. The calyx is gamosepalous and bilabiate, and corolla is gamopetalous and bilabiate. Stamens epipetalous. They are adhered to petals and reduced to two. Gynosium bicarpellus and carpus with exile placentation. Uh, one ovule per locus. Fruits are simple. Seeds are non-endospermic. So in all, if we talk. it is a uh, it showing more advanced character evolutionary and therefore this family is said to be the most important family that way okay then uh, commonly plants that occurs in this particular family is a coleus that we uh, aromaticus that we called a juvine an aromatic herb with the beautiful variegated leaves uh, we called it as like then lucas lantana then lavandula aromatic smell wala jo plant hota hai the which reduces uh, produces volatile oil then mentha piperata pudina jisko hum kehte hain cultivated uh, as a perennial means uh, by sucker then roilia then osimum sanctum that we call tulsi salvia then thymus vulgaris these are some of the important plant that we have to understand then this is the probable questions that could be asked in your examination 
of course, a very uh, long answer question describe vegetative and reproductive characters. Then, that another important feature of this family is a uh, Osimum uh, sanctum. That particular plant, we have to explain that. Uh, write a note on verticillus in fluorescence or economic importance of amyl lamiaceae or primitive and advanced character of this particular family. So, with this explanation, friends, try to understand this video will review the topics that we learn in the classroom uh, for the preparation in the incoming days and uh, you have to you have to revise it and you have to try to answer some of the important characteristics which are typical uh, character you should also able to draw the diagrams particularly floral diagram some of the character diagrams of the flowers uh, then vegetative twig and so so with this i uh, before i conclude i request you to watch this video again and again you have to visit my youtube channel Dr. Sunil Modak channel. Here I am going for bio DNA that is a daily new analysis of topics of the biology especially belonging to your syllabus. Uh, if you like you please press the button like then for comment you can ask the questions or you can suggest me that what new videos you want to watch on this particular and uh, you subscribe it. You also share this video with your friends because they are also finding it. Most of the friends of our college of our other college of our city and whole overall city, they will also definitely like it. Okay, So you share this to your friends which are studying in different colleges. With this I would like to conclude today. Uh, thank you very much friends for watching this video. Thank you.